Hello and welcome to this film analysis video. Today, as you may have guessed, we're going to discuss Benedict Erlingson's movie Woman at War. We'll be taking a closer look at the life of a choir teacher and environmentalist, Hala. We'll be looking at how sound, narrative, and cinematography are used to show how Hala, despite being on her own, is able to make a difference in the environment and lives of others. How does sound affect a storyline in a movie? Sound is essential to convey a message in a film, and Woman at War is no different. The sound in this particular clip is used extremely well as it creates a feeling of solitude, yet importance. The music is slow and simple, but revealing. It expresses her unaccompanied struggle and her desire to improve the environment and the lives of others. To truly show the effect, the music is synced with the destruction of the wires, to really create an impactful moment to the viewer, showing the grandeur of her actions. Furthermore, the piece of music escalates as the severity of her actions rises until it reaches climax, where she is successful in her task. Benedict Erlingson's effective use of sound allows us to delve into Hala's emotional state of mind. It is important to take a look at the movie's structure as a whole and understand what message is trying to be presented. Films create this message by using the protagonist and an effective antagonist. The story is intentionally set up to pin Hala against the main antagonist, the local aluminum industry. Her goal is to save the environment and through her efforts she encounters the military and law enforcement that seek to stop her as well. Such strong antagonists are developed throughout the story to make the odds for Hala's success low. One example is the pursuit of helicopters with thermal imaging and military forces with night vision goggles. The film shows that Hala is able to make an impact by herself in the presence of such a foe. Hala is faced with the difficult task of saving the environment and helping vulnerable people. Tasks too hard for herself. She may not be able to solve all of it herself, but she is still able to make an impact and contribute to solving the issues. Hala is empowered, and her actions are significant, as she is a single oddity in the way of such a Goliath. Hala's feeling of being overwhelmed allows the viewer to root for her success. Cinematography is one of a filmmaker's greatest tools to convey a message to the viewers. Woman at War uses different framings as the main technique to convey messages. Throughout the film, many extreme wide or long shots are used not only for the purpose of establishing setting, but also showing the viewer how small Hala is compared to the world. The sublime presence of the mountains make her look small through the use of long shots and give her an insignificant and overwhelmed feeling. On the other hand, close-up shots are used to contrast these belittling moments of being faced by something much bigger than herself and give the viewers a sense of independent accomplishment. The close-up shots focus on Hala, making her the center of attention. Her full facial features and her actions are shown in detail. In the frame, there is no one more powerful than Hala. This contrast of shots beautifully displays the message that no matter how small or insignificant you may feel, you are able to make a change. And that is it for episode one of Film Analysis. Thank you for watching and tune in next time.